Everybody. Sound is on. I think sound is on. Do you have some nice music there? Did you see a nice intro? I think the technology is still working. I'll just turn down my laptop sound. So when I get any feedback, how are you all? Have you had a good summer and all that business? Have you been on holiday? Have you been working? Do share what you've been up to. Be good to, uh, to find out. So let me just turn the mic up a little bit more. Then I think we're about ready to do some hellos. Tonight, we're gonna be, I don't know, keeping it fairly casual. It's always pretty casual around here, as you know, if you're a regular, which most of you are, and I appreciate. But yeah, we'll be keeping it quite casual. Um, I've got a few websites to review. It's not too late to uh, let me know if you'd like me to take a look at your website live on the stream tonight. Um, but yeah, I've got a few sites really on the list to, uh, ready to review, so we'll have a look at those. We'll also be doing the general chat and questions. So if you've got any questions, put them in the chat, in the chat box that you'll see down the side of this video somewhere. Um, this side, I think. And yeah, we'll just take it easy. I'll be going for about an hour. I'm half an hour later than usual tonight, and they, this may be a regular time. It's just easier for me. The kids are in bed by this time and, and all the rest of it. So we'll see. It may be slightly later next week. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, let's start at the beginning, which is a good place to start, I think, and do some hellos. So, Lubana Khan, I, I apologise, I apologise now for any names that I pronounce incorrectly. Hello, you were the first one in at half past eight. You probably thought we were still on the old time. Sorry about that. Uh, hello, Stephanie. Good to see you. I hope you had a good summer. I think it was hot down in uh, wherever you are, Texas, is it? Um, it's been hot here though as well. Not as hot as that though. It's been nice. Uh, hello to Helen. Hello to Jeremy. And by the way, the guys that are blue in the chat, they're my moderators. They'll be making sure that you're all behaving yourself tonight. Um, so yeah, obviously, double hellos to Stephanie and Helen, who are my med my moderators. My moderators. <laughs> hello, Jeremy, and hello, Best Tech Reviews, a regular on. Good to see you. Hello, Lion Guest Studios. Yeah, I will have another look at your site tonight. No worries. I know I've reviewed it before, but you say you made some changes, so let's do a review again. And my memory will probably be not very good, and I won't remember half the stuff I said the first time around, so we'll be fine. Um, hello, R7, good to see you. Hello, Gaz, loads of good regulars in tonight. Hello, Abo. Abo says that um, his affiliate account has been disabled because of he uh, because of lack of sales, which is a problem. It does happen, but don't worry. Or you can just you know apply again, get another account, and give you another ninety days. Keep working on your site. Keep getting uh, your content created. Write it yourself. Get writers to do it, and keep on your site, and they will come those sales. Gaz is back from the Reading Festival, not the Reading Festival, as you could uh, read it. English language, huh? The food rocked it. They did look pretty good, actually. I saw them on TV. I wasn't too sure about the Queen cover. I think Queen is a band that maybe you shouldn't cover. And if you are going to cover it, you shouldn't try and sound like Freddie too much. But hey, I wasn't there. Maybe it was good. It didn't come across too good on the telly. Anyway, um, Tawid, good to see you. I'm good. Federico, good to see you. Who else have we got in tonight? Jason, hello to you. Uh, hello, Scott, good to see you again. Hello, Josh, hello, I like cruise ships. Hello, the Furman, good to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while, have we? Seems like a long time, but that could just be everyone because we haven't been streaming for ages. Hello, Xland Tech, hello, Twice Upon a Time. Review means what are you going to do? Well, I basically look at your websites and share them with everyone else and give you my thoughts, comments, and you can of course take them as you want. The firm, and yeah, I was gonna just, as I just said, it does seem like ages since I've been on a live stream. So that I was right in thinking that we haven't seen you for a little while. Abo says, what is the best for advertising, Facebook or, or what? Or Google? Really depends on what you're pushing. Facebook is very effective nowadays, though. Hello, Mark. Hello, Lucky. Hello, Ronak. Hello, Mr. X. Hello, Le Formateur de Question. That was a little bit of a ropey French uh, pronunciation, but hey. Um, 
the Foo Fighters bought a Rick Astley. Did you see it? I didn't, but I've seen them do that before on YouTube. That's like a thing they've done many a time. Rick Astley, he'd take the work, I'm sure. Josh is here. I know Josh has missed me a lot. I saw his comment on Facebook earlier. He's been bored and building instead of being on live streams. Well, hey, that's fine. It means you can get on with some work, doesn't it? Uh, better life reviews you can review my site if you want yeah I will review your site and that'll probably be enough merci le formateur French, that's about as far as my French goes though anyway actually before I do the reviews let's do an update I haven't done an update on best roofbox which I'm going to do probably next week the recording's going to be ramped up next week. That's when the kids are back at school. I'm not been happy with the video quality of my videos in the last few. The face camera mainly, obviously, the quality of a screen grab is is, is fine. Uh, but the colours have all been wrong, and I just look like kind of purpley. I don't know if you noticed. So I need to spend some time with my camera, just me and my camera and, and the settings, playing around white balance and apertures and all that. I need to just get that right. I don't know why it's gone wrong, but it has. So once I've done that, I'm going to be recording loads of videos, and I'm going to do obviously an update on Best Roof Box, and I've got a whole load of other videos that I want to produce. And of course, the Swim Swim Signs site is all ready, and I just need to finish off that video, the latest Woo Zone video, get that up. Um, hello, Anthony. Me and Anthony had a good chat the other day on Skype. So I'm going to give you an update on Best Roof Box, and just an update on a couple of other things, and then we'll do the site reviews. To do that, I'm going to get on the computer. To do that, I'm going to try. Try one of the fancy, um, uh, where is it? Fancy transitions. Is it seamless as you can see? Where's the. Hi oh, there. Here we go. Transition! Oh, no, no, no. That's the intro. Told you it was going to be seamless. That wasn't quite what I meant, but the next one will be better. Can we just get that window a little bigger? Let me just get me a little smaller. So, the f oh, why is it? Uh, yeah, the production. That's the one I want. That's the one. That's the one. Smooth, slick, and professional. Oh, not words that you'd probably use to describe my live streams. <laughs> anyway, so a couple of things. First thing I want to talk about is my content service. Now I'm not, I don't want to, you know, over promote my stuff, um, but I just want to quickly say that I've had a few of you guys sign up, which I'm very, very grateful for. Uh, you early adopters out there that um, are big fans of the channel. Anthony is one of them, by the way. And so is R7 Eagle. A few other of you guys have taken me up on my content service and I really do appreciate that. And I am doing my best to try and deliver a great service, but obviously it is early days. Uh, now I know most of you have had your content, uh, or at least a few articles delivered, and you have been very happy with the quality of the content. There has been a few little communication issues along the way, but I am working to iron them out. And in fact, I've got a call straight after the stream with um, the team on that. So, um, yeah. If any of you guys are interested, it's over here on wpeagle.com and you can find out all about the service that I'm offering and it basically helps you get content for your affiliate site. There's a thousand word article packages and there's 2000 word article packages at the moment, but I'm gonna be launching some new packages probably next week. One of them will be a mix kind of package. So you get a couple of short articles, maybe a couple of medium sized articles, you know, two, two and a half thousand words, and then one big article. Um, a month so like, loads of nice content for your site the other thing I wanted to share with you is and all this will be coming up in videos in the week but you know you guys you get access early you get the stuff before it's um, recorded into video I have been messing around well not messing around I have been uh, using the Hoff a bit more you remember the Hoff they created those videos for best roof box 
And basically what I wanted to share with you, and by the way, if you're interested in using the Hoff, I would appreciate if you use my link, of course, which I'll just put in the chat now. If you're gonna quickly go and sign up right now, before I've even said anything, I'm just gonna put the link there. It's wpeagle.com, the Hoff. But what I ordered was their guest posting service. I thought, you know, why not be a good thing to check out and see what they did. I'm just trying to find it here. Here we go. No, not that one. Now, with this, I did make a mistake. I ordered it late at night. I think I ordered it probably after a stream, and I didn't fill in the form properly. Uh, this is not a new thing for me. If you've watched me regularly, I, I often make mistakes. I often do things wrong. But hey, we all do. And you know, if you make a mistake, don't let it uh, don't let it stop you. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm a good example of making up some mistakes and not letting it stop me. Just carry on. Uh, by the way, hello to JP, good to see you. Hello, Carl, good to see you. We haven't seen you for a while, I hope you're good. Um, sell my wagon .com. Do you want me to review your site? I see that one of the mods has deleted your message, but uh, I can probably squeeze that one in. That'll be the last one, though, because I've got uh, four or five on here now. But yeah, anyway, so I went for the guest posting uh, service. I think it was like 400 bucks, something like that, four, 500 bucks, well, not cheap. But they promised to get me free guest posts. They wrote the post for me, the content, the article, they created the article for me on free sites with a domain authority of 20 plus. Sounds good. So, this is where I went wrong, by the way. For the anchor text, for whatever reason, I put best roof box without any spaces. I mean, it's, it's crazy, anchor text. Why on earth would you want that as your anchor text? But before I realized it was too late anyway. I placed another order which has actually got better anchor text, but hey, a link is a link at the end of the day, isn't it? A link is a link. So, and this is what they came up with anyway. I got a link from this site here. Uh, which is gomotors.net. Nice car related site, perfect for me. A uh, lovely article they've written. And then they've put the link here, which again, doesn't really make sense in their article. You'd think actually when they're writing the article, they'd have thought this is just a stupid anchor link. Let's get back to the client and, and say, what the hell are you thinking? You need a better anchor text, but they didn't, they just did it. So there's my link. If your trunk isn't big enough, think about getting a cargo carrier like Best Roof Box. Doesn't quite make sense, but uh, whatever. A link is a link. In terms of the uh, domain authority, um, this one is like a domain authority of like 44 on Ahrefs. I'm not gonna jump into Ahrefs just now, but yeah, I did check them all and they've got a high domain authority. I will put all the Ahrefs stuff in the video coming up. Hudson says, this is link building. How much do they charge for this? It is link building, but it's kind of link building with a guest post kind of technique to it, which is what we want. It's not just like buying a random link down in a sidebar. You're actually part of a, of a article. How much do they charge? They charged uh, me. I've got the invoice here. Is this the invoice? Yeah. Oh no, actually, I better not. That might have some confidential stuff on it. Let me just, <laughs> let me just uh, find it on here. It was, uh, what's it called? Hoff guest post. I went for DA20, uh, 1,000 word content, uh, one time only, uh, free posts. It was $495, so it's, there you, go, you can kind of work it out there. One post, DA20, 1,000 words, 165. Stephanie says she wants to move to the UK and find my roots here. Come and live with us here. It's cooler here. You don't have to worry about the heat or tornadoes or fun or something like that stuff. Uh, we do take holiday time, definitely. Well, I do. I don't know about everyone else. But yeah, we tend to, especially in August. Zlairreviews.com. That, that is definitely the final one. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night looking at websites and I still have done the, the news update so anyway yeah there's gonna be a full video on this I think it's pretty interesting we've got another one off this one which is a nice site all about um, some other stuff Erica whatever just like a, a blog but again I, I'm, I was really disappointed with that anchor text my fault I know but you'd uh, hope that they might have spotted it and whatever 
I did go back and ask them if they could change it. There's a link there, look. Uh, yeah, and that's it. And then the final one was this Adventures of a Frugal Mum. Again, cool sites. Do look kind of familiar. I checked all domain ranks, all kind of good established sites, um, proper sites, and yeah. I've done one more order with them, which has got proper anchor text, and we'll see how that works out. Obviously, I haven't seen any effect on ranking, so I'm kind of waiting a little bit before I do the video so that maybe I'll get some data on it. Carl's got a top tip there. If you do place an order with Hoff, schedule a free SEO chat with them. I should have done that. And it'll save you making any mistakes like me. Okay, so that's the first thing. The Hoff video coming soon. The links look good, so I'm, I'm confident. But let's um, let's just talk about Best Roof Box. So um, as you'll see, we'll have a look at analytics in a sec. Oh no, we can have a look now. Can I open this up? Um, you'll see I haven't posted any content recently because I've been holiday and stuff and that's really sloppy for me I've got like four or five articles already written. I just need to publish them. So I'm probably in need of a website editor Which if any of you want to do that job then drop me a line <laughs> If you're confident using Elementor and you think you could put posts together probably better than I can I'll give you the word document you can publish it for me and I'll give you a fixed fee per article something like that Let me know otherwise I'm just not doing it and I need to do it If you want a bit of extra cash, then give me a shout. Email address, by the way, is on the screen somewhere. Eagle at WP Eagle. So yeah, I haven't posted any content, which is bad. It's not gonna help my site. You need to post content regularly. And we can see the traffic. Uh, let's have a look. This is analytics here. It's bobbing along, not doing anything. That's because I'm not doing anything. Definitely see that the effort that you put into your site has a direct effect on your traffic and your sales. So. That's a problem. I need to get those articles up. Go from there. And if we look at like compared to previous. Slight growth, but I think as we go further along, there's not going to be as much growth because I haven't published any content. Now the traffic to the site is slightly distorted because I do videos about this site on YouTube on WP Eagle, obviously as you guys watch them. Whenever I do that, then the traffic spikes on the site, so that doesn't have an effect, and I haven't done that either. Um, but anyway, in terms of sales, a number of you will have seen um, that I think I put it on the Facebook group. If you, if you remember, I got a commission Zalea, your website will be reviewed shortly. I'll do it in a minute. You will remember that I sold a big old roof box, like an $800 roof box. And I got like 40, 40 odd dollars commission. Well, whoever ordered it returned it back to Amazon. So that was a bit of a nightmare. So if, I think, was that last month? It might have been this month, I can't remember. Basically what happened, it put my commission into like negative. The graph doesn't do negative here, but yeah, it was pretty bad. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and you know, I'm gonna do a video on this, but you shouldn't be um, despondent when that happens because just the other day, I think it might have been the last seven days, a couple of days ago, Someone ordered that big old box again. Woohoo! So we got uh, the commission on that as well. Which is that big old one there. So $44 in seven days, that's good. That's good. So um, yeah, I'll do a full video, that's the update. 
Roofbox is doing okay. The traffic has stagnated a little bit because I've stagnated a bit. Um, commission is not looking good because I had a couple of items returned and that really did knock the commission for the last 30 days. But then this one is good. And the clicks are still bobbing along quite nicely. We're sending you know, 30 odd people to Amazon a day. And there we go. So uh, let me just have a quick look in the chat. What have I mixed? Xlan and Ansla, if you both want to talk to me about editing my stuff, I can't have too many editors, I'm sure. Drop me an email, please. I'll forget whatever you put in the chat. So just email me and we'll talk, get it sorted. Guess is it's probably the same guy reordering the box. That would be weird. Why would you buy one of these massive things and then get it sent back, which is a pain, and then order it again? That seems silly. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Zlair says, do you think the eBay partner program is good? I've not used it, I don't know. I don't think people order as much from eBay anymore. That's my only thought. His wife told him to return it. Yeah, possibly, and now he's secretly ordered it again. Okay. Let's do some site reviews. I'm gonna start with Zlair's, because she's, he, Sorry if I get ginger. I'm, uh, just from your profile and your name, I'm thinking that you're a lady, but I do apologize if you're not. Let's have a look at your site. What the? Is that supposed to look like that? It looks a little broken. What do you guys think? It looks right, that, that image. I like the beach theme. It reminds me of my swim shorts. <laughs> First thing then, you got the little chat thing went did -a ding And then that little thing popped up, did a ding Zlair, you're a man, I do apologize. It must be just your pink uh, profile picture and your name, Zlair, sounds like Claire. My mind, I don't know how my mind works, but it obviously got it wrong. So I do apologize. I'm sure you're not offended. But, um, yeah, the little poppy things there, the didding, and that, personally to me, they annoy me. They really annoy me. So I would immediately be turned off from your site with them things beeping at me as soon as I hit the site. If you're going to use them, I suggest putting a little delay on them. Um, other than that, the site looks good, although I guess this picture's broken. Let me refresh. <laughs> Dana says, do we need 3D glasses for this? Dana, 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 it's gotta be Dana. Um, maybe we do, I think we've got a pair somewhere. Um, so my initial thoughts is that's broken. I don't like the pop-up things. The other thing is you could be in a very broad niche. I mean, you're just going to be reviewing anything. I mean, I guess that's fine. Gives you a broad spectrum, but I think sites work better if you're kind of specific on a, um, on a particular theme. Um, but you know, if you want to review anything, that's fine. Let's have a look at what you've been reviewing. So you go from streaming, gaming to dog collars, you see, that's just so broad. It's so broad. And if you think about it, just from an audience type point of view, and you want people to join up to your newsletter and notifications and all that, you know, if I'm into best, uh, into streaming and gaming, then am I gonna be into rowing and dogs as well? Probably not. Probably not. I just don't think streamers have got time for rowing or dogs. <laughs> uh, I do like this retro feel, but I just think it's not working, is it? Anyway, let's have a look at some content. Patrick suggested the content should be close to the top. That's a good tip, because you have to scroll all the way down to find it. But that could just be because that image is broken and it's pushing everything down. This looks nicer. What theme is this? Is it? It's Hestia, not heard of it. It's nice. There's a man, the Logitech Brio. 
that is what you're looking at me on when I'm looking that way. That's a Brio. The articles look good. I mean, uh, what is this? No, 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 no. We don't be doing this. No, 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 not this. This is we know we're not. It's like it's not nineteen ninety eight anymore. You know when we're trying to trick out of Vista into ranking our site. We don't want to be stuffing keywords in a big block like that at the bottom. It just that doesn't look good, and it's just not going to work. Just make sure you just put if just put the keywords in the article as part of the copy. That's all you want to do. A uh, number of people are saying, yeah, one niche would be better. I can't look at any more sites tonight. If you want me to look at sites, then email me and I'll fit them in in some future streams. So anyway, I think that's enough for this site. I uh, I think it's going to be good. I think you should probably need to be specific on a on a group of products that you're going to be going for. You need to fix that image on the front, which I think it's got the potential to look good, but whatever's going on here, it's been stretched. And don't stuff all the keywords in the bottom of the posts. So there's a few things for you to take away. Let's have a look at the next one. I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to do this one, sellmywagon.com, if you're still in the chat. We're starting at the bottom of the list. I know it's a weird way to start, but. Whoa. Ooh, it's moving. I, I'm feeling drunk now. That is mesmerizing. Zlair says I'm confused on which niche. Well, you just need to find a niche uh, for products that you're interested in that you want to review. I would. There's a whole uh, playlist on my channel, which I did with Doug Cunnington. It's all around keyword golden ratio and using keyword research tools. And that's probably a good place to start. Do some searches for keywords around a particular area. I've also got another video on my site in terms of, uh, on my site, on my channel, in terms of choosing a niche which involves just basically going into Amazon and drilling deep within the product categories. Sellmywagon.com, which is this site here, has just said that the site is three weeks old and still needs a lot of content. I've had, what is that? 839,700 hits so far. Really? Um, well, do you even need my help then? Because that sounds like a lot. Is there yeah, one niche is good probably. Like if you're going to go for like streaming or technology or books or I don't know. One even one product group like my sites around roof boxes. I've got other sites around other things that are product focused, but it doesn't have to be product focused. It could be around an interest or a hobby or a or a topic. So what is this? This is like a um. Or like a classified type site, people can just like um, what put an add on. Okay, they add a add a listing. That probably needs a little bit more info in terms of what needs to be done. Wagon does equal car. Yeah, wagon is another word for car. Um, you can purchase a membership, but it doesn't actually tell me anything about the membership. So yeah, there is some work to be done on this site. I think it's better if you want me to review site to send it when it's kind of a bit nearer being finished. Because there's so many things, pages here that just kind of aren't finished. But my initial thought is the site looks nice. The moving cars are very mesmerizing. But my my first thought was, how on earth are you going to compete with the big sites that already do this, like Auto Trader? Is it and it is Auto Trader, isn't it? I know they're a big one over here in the UK. I don't know if they're big in the US, but they must be uh, similar ones. No, this is a US one. These like really big established sites. Um, I think. You know, you could struggle to compete because these have been going for a while and they're big sites, they've got a brand. Um, so my wagon.com says, read the about me. Okay, so I guess I'm looking at here, your USP is gonna be, not that USP is actually a thing anymore, it's just to be cheaper than the other guys. That's fair enough. That 
That is also a very big lump of text. If I, you need a few paragraphs, I think, there. Anyway, that's that one. Let's have a look at this next one, which is betterlifereviews.com. Okay, yeah, so the uh, the selling point is it's one dollar for a week rather than five dollars. Fair enough. But you know you're gonna need to get momentum on that kind of site because it needs a lot of traffic in order to work. It's very well saying you're a dollar a week, but if I pay a dollar a week and I don't sell my car, then it's still not good value. Whereas if I pay auto trader five dollars and I do sell my car, then that is good value because I got what I wanted. I don't mind paying five dollars because I still sell my car for a few thousand. So it's all going to be about the result. I don't know how how much you know price comes into it. But anyway, let's have a look at this one, which is um, a nice looking site. It's got lots of moving things again. Better life reviews. First thing, if you're an Amazon associate, do not use this thing, this little A. I hate it. This Apple logo, what you, be careful with logos. Ocean WP, good, good theme. The logo is really small. I made that a little bit bigger. So there's a whole load of products here that are just, I guess, like, just click off to. Oh, what a horrible, what is that? Okay, GDPR has, you know, killed that one. Uh, I had that on another site today, sites that won't accept traffic from the EU. Thank you guys for reminding everyone to uh, click the thumbs up and thank you Stephanie for reminding everyone to join the Facebook group. Just do a search on Facebook, you'll find us there. So again, what is this site? What's the niche? It's about improving your life, I guess. Makes sense. A shower laser. This is what we need. Better Life Reviews, who cite this is, has just said, uh, it's an Elementor icon. Yeah, it is an Elementor icon. I used to use the Amazon icon on the buttons on my site when I was looking off to Amazon. I thought it'd be cool, but apparently it's not because um, one of my viewers got in touch and said they did the same thing and they had an email from Amazon kicking them out of the program for using the uh, logo, whatever, incorrectly. So it's not worth the risk. So the content looks good. You've got some links. I'm not sure what a... Um... Ooh. I don't know what a star shower laser is. Is this you? I guess it is. So doing your own product reviews is perfect. So do you actually use it in the shower? You don't use it. Yeah. It's like just showers of lasers. I've kind of got the wrong end of the stick. Wow. Videos looks great. I mean, videos are going to be a great way to drive traffic to uh, your site. Well done for doing them. I mean, it takes a lot of effort. So, um, yeah. I mean, again, it's kind of going back to the uh, the like the last site. What is your niche and how 
specific is it? It looks like you're doing a whole kind of random load of different products. And again, I'd probably move the content more to the top. I mean, these deal things are cool, but I don't know, are you getting any commission off these? Also, how are you powering these? Is it a plug-in or something? So it's not a laser that you have in the shower. Okay, that makes more sense. It's just a shower of lasers. Yeah. I like cruise ship says, do you think YouTube review channels might take over from website reviews? I think YouTube has more engagement. Possibly, yeah, but there's a lot of people that search on Google for stuff and it's not always a YouTube video that comes up. I think they can work in tandem with a site. I think you can use YouTube to drive people to a site. So you got, you know, lots of reviews for headphones, rings. I like the site, I'm not sure about this gray. I wonder if that would be better, a bit lighter. That's just my personal opinion. I think the logo definitely needs to be bigger. I, th I think maybe you need to focus your products because you've got everything from like iPads, phones, watches, through to lasers and boards and you know, it's just everything. How is the site doing out of curiosity? Scott has commented that it may the niche, the niche or niche may not be so important if you are doing well on YouTube, which is very true. But I just think you know, trying to do reviews and stuff on these kind of products, which maybe you're not, uh, could be could be tricky. What do I mean by what? Sorry, better laugh reviews. It's a bit of a delay on the chat, so I'm, I'm probably so you're probably commenting on something that uh, I said a few moments ago. I've got this DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and it's rubbish. It just keeps kind of flopping over all the time. I like the site. Yeah, let us know how, how well this site's doing. And keep us up to date. It's interesting. Yes, Lion Guest Studios, as I said earlier, I will be reviewing your site. I'll do it right now. I'd said I can help you with your content if you need it. We're just saying don't use Amazon icons and logos because you can get in trouble. So this, I even remember this site. I remember that when I landed on it last time, I didn't know what it was all about. Now it's a bit clearer. Want to learn new tech? Yes. Although I don't like questions like that. That's just me though. Because like you say, want to learn new tech? What if I say no? No, I don't actually. I'm gonna go now. I think a headline needs to be more snappy and more inclusive. So right, don't use a question. It's like a lot of people in marketing tend to do that with a question. I just I think it alienates your audience. The site's looking nice. Still a lot of stuff flying in and about, which, you know, whatever. It's not, not to my cup of tea. Or not my cup of tea, even. You've got an app. It's not on, on iPhone, though. Um, so it's looking good. Let's have a look about cryptocurrency and blockchain. Okay, so there needs to be more content. It's all very well having all these categories. Um, but when I click through and I see two posts, I'm like, what is this site? This is not a finished site, it's not finished. So you need to fill that out. Now I know that creating content is hard. But if you've only got a little bit of content, then maybe don't link to your categories just yet to kind of bundle it all together in the blog so that it looks like you've got more.
yeah, Hudson has suggested another thing. So rather than want to learn new tech, you go for something like this is the new tech you need to learn. Or essential technology for business or for your life, you know, give that a big kind of punch in the mouth kind of headline rather than a question. But yeah, the size looking better. I think it's looking good. I think you just need to now don't worry too much about the look and feel. Um, because at the end of the day, look and feel of site is not that important. Uh, if you look at some of the new themes, especially um, Abadeo, what's it called, Abadegu? Income School's new theme. You know, it doesn't look like anything amazing at all. It's just very simple, very clean, very fast. Because when people are looking for content and information, they're you know searching on Google for, for answers. They don't want stuff, you know, <laughs> flying in and all that kind of stuff. They just want the content, they want the information. So that's what you should be focusing on. Don't worry too much about the look and feel of your site. Okay, I've got two more. This one is actually slightly different. This one was posted, in, I think it was in Facebook earlier today. It was by Richard. Lovely site here. Actually health. Although the problem is it's in the health niche and the fitness niche, which is a bit of a problem when it comes to ranking on Google. Um, but hey, it can still be done with good content. Look at that meat. We're not allowed to eat meat because of the rainforest and stuff. But that looks meaty. But anyway, yeah, that post was sent to me. So top of my head, I think Andrew or Richard even, <laughs> Richard. Richard said that this post, 21 Best Home Exercise Equipment, 2009, which is a lovely long post. I'm sure it was on Facebook. Let me just find his exact question. But I think he said that, yeah, this post is getting loads of traffic, but not he's not getting any sales. So is there anything we can do to improve that. But yeah, now I can't. Um... <laughs> I can't even find the message, but I think that's what it was. Shive says, hi, Eagle, I'm really loving your videos. And they might be to try and start my own affiliate site, but I'm stuck on finding a fan. wanted to ask your opinion about the Astronomy Airsoft. And someone has said, shooting for the stars, who said that? Uh, Hudson. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go, Richard. So I've been getting a lot of traffic to this article and lots of Amazon affiliate clicks, however, it's not converting into any sales. Now, my only thought on that is, it's because it's the type of article it is, and the kind of traffic. I'll come back to the um, the airsoft thing in a second. Let's just do this. I'm going off in um, tangents. Um, is the kind of traffic that this kind of thing gets? So people that are into exercise, they go, oh, okay, this looks good best home exercise gym equipment, or people that are maybe they're thinking about fitness. Fitness is one of those things that a lot of people think about a lot. They want to be fit, they want to do fitness, but they they get stuck. They never get fit, if you, you know what I'm talking about. So you're gonna have a lot of that kind of traffic coming to this kind of article. And people come along here and they go, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, a yoga mat is not gonna be for everyone. They're gonna go, yoga mat. So I can just do that on any old mat. And you go, oh wow, this this is more what I'm looking for, you know, this will get me fit. You know, a Marcy recumbent exercise bike. And they go, ooh, yeah, I've got a couple of hundred bucks to spend. This might be what I want. And they click on it. And they look at it and they go, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 159, well, maybe, maybe that is a little bit steep. You know, I said I had a couple of hundred bucks, but I thought this was only gonna be like 99 or something. So uh, 
I'll say I might come back to that. I'll save up for that. So you know that's a click and that's not a conversion. And then they go, ooh, a white bench. Yeah, actually, maybe that's what I want. Um, and then they see, okay, this is only available from third party sellers. Now I don't know. Also, the geography of your Amazon links. I'm guessing you've got one link enabled, which is why I'm being redirected to Amazon.co.uk. But yeah. The other thing you want to look at is where your traffic's coming from. If it's not US traffic, then that could be a problem why you're not getting conversions because they're getting redirected to other Amazon sites that may not have the product. Click on this one. And you go, wow, 849 quid. I can't afford that. That's too. You see where I'm going from here? There's a lot of high value stuff on here. And, you know, a lot of people aren't actually going to have a couple hundred quid to spend anyway. They're just going to be looking and browsing. Of course, you're planting the seed. But the problem is if they come back in 60 days and order it from Amazon, you're not going to get a commission anyway because of the cookie time. So that's my thoughts on this article. I think the article's good. Um, but I think just because it's fitness and because of the high value products that a lot of people may click and may look, but they're not buyers. They're not buyers. You know, if you wanted to sell some of these Nordic track commercial treadmill things, a review might be better. Because someone who types into Google Nordic Track commercial treadmill review is looking to buy a treadmill and probably looking to buy the Nordic Track commercial treadmill, whatever. And if you do a review saying it's wonderful, then there's a good chance they might buy. So, you know, targeting that traffic that are people that are looking for a specific product and they're about to buy it. Okay. Other than that, the site looks great. The site looks great. Content looks good. I think health is challenging, but, you know, can be done. Anyway, let's go back to the astronomy and airsoft. I think they're both interesting. I think airsoft probably has got more um, more potential, but I guess you need to be into it in order to create good content around it and buy the guns and the stuff and make videos that kind of stuff. Then it'd be interesting and people would probably get into it and also tap into community because it's only a certain group of people that like airsoft isn't it and you need to kind of tap into that so maybe set up a facebook group that kind of thing build a community around it astrology astronomy was it astronomy or astrology astronomy astronomy a good one but again there's only so much equipment i guess you can promote i don't know i'd have to look into those into a bit more detail see what's going on both got potential there Uh, so what have I missed in the chat? I've got one more site to review, which we'll do in two moments. Piso says that the, um, the income school theme is slow once you test the individual blog post and not just the homepage. Okay, I've not heard that. Um, I should have put that on do not disturb. Stephanie says my blog look is a mess. In bad shape, but how's your site doing? You're lots of recording. That's great. Talking to Gaz. Um, Best Tech Review says, personally feel people need to make their sites look better to ensure people feel more trustable site. Yeah, that's true, but people, if your content is good and like this site, I mean, this site has got no spinny bits, no flashy bits, and none of that stuff. It looks professional. I'm not saying you don't need a good site, a good looking site, because you do, and it should look neat and tidy. Um, but you, I don't think you need to overdo the effects and all that kind of stuff. That's what, that's what I was getting at. Thank you, Steve. Good to be back. I 
Okay, let's do the last site, then I'll turn around and we'll do the last. Um, let's open in the wrong window, we want it over here. So this one is um, is Gaz's site. Who I think is still in the chat, aren't you? Gaz? Yeah. So you knocked up the other night. And um, it's all about t-shirts. It's using storefront and, well, Am I still on? Am I still on? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think the state of the stream might have dropped just then. So, Gaz, what's the idea? It's just loads of t shirts, I guess. No particular niche. It's not like beer t-shirts, the one that I did. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of storefront anymore, if I'm honest. I think there are better free uh, WooCommerce or WooZone uh, themes available. So yeah, I, I might just switch the theme to something a little bit better looking. You've got no blog. Yet, uh, I mean, it's something you just knocked up quickly. I can see that there's some weird spacing going on, but I guess that's just storefront. And what is the niche? It's just like funny t shirts, which is fine if you create loads of content, you know, uh, around niches of t shirts. So, certain film t shirts, you know, the best Stranger Things t shirts, that kind of thing, and create an article on that and, and try and be really specific and link to products that way. I think that could work. I think just having a general t shirt site might be tricky. Um, but yeah. I can see we're running out of time, but basically my takeaway on this one would be consider another theme. Ocean WP is really good for WooCommerce. That's the one I just done my recent site on. Uh, I don't like storefront anymore. Um, work on a blog, creating posts around particular areas of t-shirts, probably maybe around a theme, computer games, books, any kind of popular culture thing would probably work quite well. Yeah, I think the theme did just, the stream, the theme, the stream did just drop out just then. But anyway, let's uh, finish off with a little chat. Okay. Uh, let's do transition, there we go. Let me get my button. Uh, that one, that one. Transition. Oh, and we're back. Well, I think we're back. Zed Bennett says, we're switching my theme. Break any social links? Uh, no, shouldn't do. Changing your permalink structure might do. I feel kind of sad my page was ignored. What do you mean your page was ignored? Did I say that I was gonna review your site tonight? Now best of reviews, I know that I've reviewed your site a number of times. Um, but I'm kind of short of time now, so. Um, maybe I'll do it next week. Did you put it in the chat or something? Sorry, I, I kind of closed uh, entries for the... Um... Yeah, for the site reviews. So I do apologize for site reviews. I'll, I'll do it next week. Oh, the gas designs mostly by me and neighbors. What theme mate was trying targeted ads? Um, yeah, Ocean WP 
is one that I like. But yeah, if you design t-shirts, that's cool. Mark J says, how do you feel about the Acabado theme by Income School? I, I didn't feel anything about it at the moment. I've not used it. What I'm hearing, it's it's good, easy to use, very clean. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the, the design of it, if I'm if I'm honest. Um, but you know, you should take it seriously because Income School guys definitely know what they're talking about. They build it for speed, which is a big factor when it comes to SEO. So yeah, I think it should be considered. Whether there are some free themes available that could probably do the same job, possibly. Hudson says, when are you going to put adverts in Best Roofbox? I've got adverts on Best Roofbox, in AdSense. Probably not. Probably not going to uh, run adverts to drive traffic to it. Sorry, is it about the permalink structure? So the URL structure, if you change the addresses of your posts and pages, that can uh, mess up your uh, social links. So yeah, Astra or Ocean WP are two great themes, free ones that support WooCommerce. Coldstream says, what's the best form add-on? Probably something like, uh, what's it called? I've completely forgotten what it's called. Uh, BB Press. That was it. Is it BB Press? That's the only one I've used. I think that's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the stream now. Because it's that time. It's time to go. It's been really good being back, seeing everybody. I've really enjoyed it. Um, not quite sure how many, how many did we get on tonight? Let's have a look. Peak of 66, which is not bad for the first day back at school. Um, maybe more next week. I'll do these last few questions and then I am off. But before I go, remember, merch is available on wpeagle.com, as is my content writing services, do check it out, as is my hosting service, which you should also check out, which I haven't pushed much recently, um, but it's in uh, collaboration with Phil. Steve says, Alex, does writing more content increase your rankings or only increases your chance to rank? It should increase your rankings because it increases your chance to rank. That makes sense, they're both interlinked. More content definitely means more traffic. Where can you go, Hudson says, where can you go to buy older websites with established DA? You can go to flipper.com to do that. That's F-L-I-P-P-A.com. Gaz was just trying to do an experiment, site without content, fair enough. Carl says, how are your orders for content doing, Alex? I've seen some people you're waiting. They're doing okay. We've got a good handful of customers so far. Our seven says, thumbs up, please. Yes, please do 32 so far, which is fantastic. Zed Bandit says, you practically taught me everything I know. Well, thank you. And I also apologize. I'm sure you could learn much better from other people, but hey, thank you anyway, and I'm glad I helped you out. But anyway. I'm gonna love you and leave you. One of my other jobs is to tidy this office up at some point, as well as fix the camera. So we'll never know. I need to kind of declutter for sure. Get rid of a few books, I think. I, I mean, look at this. I can't even reach it. But there's a Google Analytics book up there from like the year 2000. I'm sure that's that's highly relevant now, isn't it? Need to clear it all out, clear it all out. Get rid of it. Anyway, I'm going to go because I've got a phone call now. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Check out for uh, check out the stream next week. It'll be probably a similar time, possibly 15 minutes later. So that'd be quarter past nine. But I'll obviously put all the details on Facebook. Be sure to go and like the Facebook page, join the Facebook group, subscribe, and all the rest of it. Join the email letters, email newsletters, and you won't miss out on a thing. But yeah, I'm going to do a countdown and then I am going. Um, the problem is the button is over here. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. 
Uh, so let me just. Um, uh, I think I've crashed it. I've crashed it. No, we haven't. Transition. Twice. The smooth, silky editing. I'm going at five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.